Hey everyone, this is Jason Long with BrainLeaf, and today we're going to talk about scope creep and expectation management. So really what this comes down to is writing out your scope of work. I know that we talk about this a lot, but it's something that I learned the hard way, the really, really, really hard way. And it's really the main reason we ended up building BrainLeaf is that when you don't have a scope of work, it's really, really easy to have scope creep, and then it's really easy to have mismanaged client expectations. These days, the comp my company, uh, or my agency, JH Media Group, has virtually no mismanaged expectations, no, almost no upset clients, and we almost never have scope creep. And the reason for this and, and I'm sure you can figure out why, is that everything, 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 everything is always super, super well scoped. And what that means is that when we write out the scope document, if a client comes in and they want to change, we send that new scope over to them for approval, we get the approval, we make the change in the hours, we make the change in the price, then we move forward. As long as you always get approval on every single thing, every single time that request is made, and you have an initial scope of work document, you'll almost never run into major scope creep issues, or at least you'll never run into mismanaged client expectation issues because, because of scope creep. So the, the, the client can still creep the scope and there's not that much you can do sometimes, but if you, um, if you show them the price every time, most of the time, uh, and you're accounting for the price all the time, those changes, most of the, most of the time, the client's not gonna make those uh, scope changes because they don't wanna incur the cost. So, one other really important thing about this is that what ends up happening is that when you don't do this, what ends up happening is that the client asks for a change. You just say, hey, don't worry, we got it, no problem, and you make the change. And then the client asks for another change, and then another change, and then another change, and then another, 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 another. And then all of a sudden, you're like, no, 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 we're not going to do all this stuff. But now the client's getting upset because the first time you did it, you didn't explain a process, you didn't have it written out, you didn't have all of these changes done, and if it wasn't in your contract, now the client's upset because they feel like they're not getting what they're paying for, and you're upset because you feel like you're working too hard for the amount of money that you're making. And that's a huge problem. And that's why you need to, to scope your work. It keeps all of that from happening. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much. Uh, today we covered, kind of covered two ideas instead of one, but I think that's fine. And um, have a great day.